This bizarre alien looking creature is a tailless whip scorpion, and being an arachnid, she has a total of 8 legs. Interestingly, she only uses 6 of her legs to walk. If we take a closer look at the first pair of legs, we'll notice that they're not like the other legs. These are her antenniform legs, and she'll use them to hunt her prey, as well as navigate her way around at night. <coughs> P.S. I've had this arachnid in my collection for a long time now. Even though I've had it for so long, I still have not been able to come up with a name for it, so if you guys could help me come up with a name for this beautiful beautiful creature that would be much appreciated now let's take a look at how i set up a tailless whip scorpion's enclosure oh my gosh first and foremost we got the substrate right here i got some peat moss some sphagnum moss some coconut fiber some charcoal a bunch of stuff is mixed in within this substrate we're just adding it straight into the enclosure it's time to start adding the cleanup crew starting with these giant canyon isopods we're just gonna dump these bad boys into the enclosure oh yes oh yes get the hell out now disperse my children by the way if they don't find somewhere to hide they'll become lunch for big mamas <laughs> So this right here is my springtail colony, and I'm just going to pick up this piece of cork bark because there's a bunch of springtails on it, and I'm just going to dump it into the enclosure. Now these springtails are going to be eating any mold that grows within this enclosure, so they'll be very beneficial. Finna add these oak leaves since it's going to break up the texture of the enclosure, and it's also going to double as isopod food, so it's an overall victory royale. <laughs> In the wild, these tailless whip scorpions can be found high up in the trees. And what they will do is they'll find a little crack or crevice that they can nudge their flat little bodies into and hide out there until nighttime rolls around so that they could come out and hunt. Obviously, with these creatures being kept in captivity, I won't be able to give them the tree that they deserve. However, I can give them a few branches and a piece of cork bark. So Food source, we got red runner roaches, we got dubia roaches, let's just go ahead and dump these bad boys in. <laughs> <laughs> So everything's nice and set up. We're just going to pick this dude up and move him into his new home. Come on, dude, get the- Ow! Oh, okay, dude, damn! Holy crap, you're in my finger, my guy. You want to, like, get out, please? Um, get the hell out of my finger. Thank you very much. Please get the- Okay, thank you. You're still kind of in my finger, though. You want to, like, get the hell out, please? Okay, thank you. Holy crap, what the hell was that about? He's in his new home. By the way, guys, today's sponsor is Social Book, and if you want to cartoonize yourself without going through the trouble of having to pay an artist a hefty fee, then you're in luck, my friend. Social Book's cartoonized tool allows you to turn normal selfies into cartoon versions, plus they include various filters, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I highly recommend you click the link in my bio. Lates.